Happy Arvo. Hello. How are you? So I used to react to Hey Hey It's Saturday often. And if there's one thing I miss about the show, it's Mr. Red Simons. So I'm so happy to find this video. Red Simons' best insults and moments. I'm just going to enjoy. Look at him. Millions Redman. of people across Australia recognize me as the only honest man on television. <laughs> well, I think uh, innocence <laughs> is always a wonderful quality in any act. Remember wow, how old is this episode? <laughs> I only really started watching in the 90s. I mean, what am I even saying? I only started watching when the show... I don't know what I'm saying. I've only seen episodes from the 90s. ...is always a wonderful quality in any act. Remember? <laughs> that was tasteless and vulgar. <laughs> Pretty much everything this show stands for. <laughs> Came here, obviously... That's a high score from him, Six. ...really hoping to make your mark, and all you've done is really left a nasty stain, isn't it? <laughs> That's more like it, isn't it? That's a sort of... Act. Wow, he's skinny here. We're used to on red faces, absolute rubbish. You really are a moron, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> I found you floating face down in my pool, I'd punish my... Oh man, and by contrast, he looks rather older there. Quite a bit older. It's amazing how long he was on this show. Man, to be insulted by Red, it would be like being insulted by Simon Cowell or Gordon Ramsay. It would be legendary. Oh, that is. <laughs> if I found you floating face down in my pool, I'd punish my dog. <laughs> We're talking about the auditions before. Can you imagine what the other guys at this guy's audition must have been like? <laughs> to lose? <laughs> Uncle Redman. Negative four. <laughs> oh my god. Now I want to know what that act was. If you were scored, huh? Little Elvis. Can you begin to imagine. You can't be mean to Little Elvis. How appalling his parents must be. Uh, <laughs> Ever stop to think what Eight. sort of person watches television? On a Saturday night at 6.30 to 8.30. They're a very sad and lonely bunch. And you... Insulting the audience. The core audience. Did that. <laughs> very, very moving. Very, very moving. It's a fitting tribute. Six to win. It doesn't uh, really make it... <laughs> oh, that's savage. Six to win and he gives them a five. The difference, what score I'll give you because you're going to win anyway. So uh, rather than waste the blue card. <laughs> Three quarters of a million people just changed the channel two for the first time in their lives. <laughs> Three quarters of a million. That's how, mu how much they uh, pulled in. That's a lot for Australia. How many people live in Australia? Really? N I think it's 30 million, right? Population of Australia. I'm just curious what kind of... 25 million. And back in these days, it looks like it was more like 18 million. So, to reach three quarters of a million people, that's pretty amazing. Lebanese people are learning to speak Italian on SBS. <laughs> you wonder why the state of the country is as, as it is. Two points. Welcome to our country. <laughs> what, oh, God. Uh, what sort of money would it cost to send you back? <laughs> Fame is fleeting, obscurity is forever. You're the sort of person who gets paid. Flame, fame is fleeting, obscurity is forever. Wow. Depressing. You're a bad name. It's interesting, you're a butcher at Safeway. <laughs> and I'm a butcher on television. You know who'd really like that act? Who? No one. <laughs> I'd like to dissociate myself from the opinions of the other two judges. You are morons. <laughs> watch my lips, watch my lips. You're an idiot. <laughs> I thought it was incredible, though. You've got more talent in your little finger than you have in the rest of your body. <laughs> I think the viewers at home would uh, fully appreciate how great that act was because none of these ladies are actually wearing taps on their shoes. It was their artificial hips clicking. <laughs> <laughs> I don't pop my coke for three men I see. Oh, boy. Hey, it's Peter. I missed Peter, too. It's uh, been a long time since we've had any... Hopefully his name was Peter. That's what I remember. ...completely unmusical trollops on the show. <laughs> there isn't an ocean <laughs> <laughs> She looks like she was poured into that dress and forgot to say when. <laughs> what? <laughs> wow. That was too much, Red. She looks like she was poured into that dress and forgot to say when. Tell <laughs> me when. Dream away. 
Don't be mean, Red. <laughs> he is Uncle Redman now. Oh, God. Because you're only five, you can probably read numbers, but not letters, yes? I thought you were very... <laughs> very, very, very good. Boo. <laughs> What was that, his birthday or something? I wonder what that was for. You're not very good, are you? <laughs> Just a flat zero. Oh, I restarted it. Was that the end? You're not very Oh man, that flew by. You're not very good, are you? Good, are you? <laughs> that should be like a gif. What's that part of him raising the zero? You're not very good, are you? <laughs> Whew. Iconic. Iconic. I hope you guys are doing good. I hope to see you again tomorrow. Hey, don't you dare ever pop up again when I tell you to go down, okay? You better stay down this time. That's right. That's what I thought. <laughs> um, I hope to see you guys again tomorrow. Happy Arva. Hope the weather's nice down there. And...